Hey guys, so I just finished putting together this wax tree and uh, I just wanted to do a quick video of how to um, determine how much metal needs to go into this amount of wax. So we're going to go and weigh it and we're just going to do a little bit of um, math and uh, we'll see if we can come up with the amount that I need for sterling silver. Um, to explain a little bit on this tree, I know it looks a little chaotic. Uh, the purple ones are um, 3D printed models. Uh, all of them are for a, a, a client. They're, um, they're all different sizes. Uh, the turquoise ones on the bottom, or lighter blue ones, I guess, they're uh, a, a chain link that I've been I, I 3D printed, cast, and then took a, a mold of in vulcanized rubber. And if you're interested in seeing uh, molded uh, or how you mold things, then uh, we've got a video for that as well. And then this one's a, a hand-carved one over here. So as you can see, it doesn't, it doesn't need to be a super specific uh, setup here. Um, I've tried to make it so that I, I can easily de-vest them, if that makes any sense. So like when they're cast, I need to be able to chop them off relatively easily. So we'll probably start from the bottom and then just snip, snip, snip all the way around and uh, take them apart. Anyway, let's go and weigh this. All right, so this is uh, just a regular like food scale that I got at uh, one of our local hardware stores. Um, it's accurate to within, I think, a gram, it says, but uh, you know it, it does the job, even if it's not fully accurate. I was at a little bit of extra silver anyway to accommodate for the button, so if it's undershooting or overshooting, I always take that into account. Anyway, so here's the wax. We're going to weigh this very carefully so we don't break anything off. Uh, here it says 24 grams, so I'm just going to round up. I'm going to say 25. And then what we're going to do, I'm just going to pick up the camera here. This is a chart that I put together uh, for my studio practice. It's got some useful measurements up there. These are my flask sizes right here that I use popularly. So there's the smallest. We're going to be casting in the four by six. So there's the internal uh, sh uh, volume of a cylinder. This is the ratio that we're going to use and all the different ratios are at the top. And then that's the amount of investment and in water that we need. So that's pretty simple. If you do a lot of casting um, and you're interested in one of these posters, I actually sell them on my, um, I think they're on my Etsy right now, but we're gonna try and migrate them over to the website shortly. Anyway, um, so down here you can see I've put some metals. So we've got ancient bronze, silicon bronze, manganese bronze, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and there's the melting temperature plus or minus 50 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, the, and then there's the gravity. The gravity is what we care about the most. So right now, um, what we need to do is take that 24, 25 grams of the, the wax and because I'm going to be casting in sterling silver, we're going to multiply it by 10.36. And that'll give us the amount of silver that we need. All right, so now that we've weighed the wax and we know what we're going to be casting in, uh, I'm going to start weighing out some silver. So just for the sake of ease, I'm going to use this. We're going to tear that so it goes down to zero. And then we're going to cut open this uh, new bag of casting grain. And as it happens, I know exactly how much is in there, which is nice when we're using new material. But we've also got some scrap over here. So this is a, an old, or a sprue from one of the last casts. And uh, what I'll probably do is put this through the hydraulic press and I'll just squish in some of these things so that it can fit in the melter over here. But anyway, let's get this weight on there. So um, a general rule of thumb is that you, uh, you're supposed to mix 50-50 new material with old material. Um, I couldn't find you the, I couldn't find, I couldn't tell you the link to, to where exactly this article was, but I read that as long as you're cleaning your recycled silver, it doesn't really matter. Um, in other words, you could, as long as you tumble this and get it nice and clean, you can just throw this in as many, as many times as you want. You don't have to do the 50-50 rule. Um, I think it's still a good idea to do so, um, especially if you're not, uh, if you're using like a torch melt or something like that. There's a lot of oxidation that can go on. So, um, yeah. Anyway, so we need 259 grams, which is the 25 gram wax multiplied by 10.36 to get 
259. So I'm gonna do a 50-50 mix. I've got 250 grams of sterling silver grain. Let's throw this in. So that's 120. So let's say I'll throw in 100 or let's say 150. That's gonna account for a little bit extra material um, for the button. It's important to have a button because even though the metal is molten and fluid, it still has density. So when you pour it, especially since I'm doing vacuum pouring or vacuum casting, uh, I'm, I'm counting on gravity and the vacuum to pull the metal. But it also helps if I've got something on the top that's physically pushing down. And that's why you have the extra material. So there's 120 grams. Which sand did I cut from? I needed 259, so I'm gonna go, I don't know. There's 270. There we go. 270 grams. So that's accounting only 20 grams over, which uh, is a little bit, a little bit less. So I'm gonna see what else other stuff I've got in here. What else can I throw in? It's important also to to throw in um, as much clean silver as you can. In other words, like you see this tube, this has got some solder in it over here. Uh, I'm not gonna throw in solder if I don't have to. So I'm gonna look for the cleanest stuff I can. This was a failed cast and that. So now we're up to 285, I think that's good enough. All right, so um, from here, we can take our silver and we can load it into there. This is the Kerr Electromelt one kilo. So it can hold one kilo of gold in this graphite crucible. Um, in my experience, it can hold about 700 grams of sterling silver, so I have to account for that. Um, yeah, I quite like this machine but uh, I am considering getting the upgraded one, the three kilo, because of you know some of the buttons that, I, that you can see here. Whoop. Some of the buttons you can see here are getting a little bit big, and uh, they're only gonna get bigger when I do bronze and stuff. And, um, or rather, I mean, when I do bronze, I'm, I'm cutting up ingots into chunks, so it may, would make it a lot easier. Okay, so I've gone ahead and I've squished this sprue, and I'm gonna put this on the bottom just because the button uh, makes for a nice bottom cap, as it were. So I'm gonna lower that in gently. And then uh, pretty much everything else in here is small enough that I could just dump it right on top. And take some of those awkward shaped scraps out so they don't ruin the flow though. So there's our loaded crucible, ready to go. Um, I hope it answers a couple of your questions. Um, I'm sorry I didn't really touch on any of the you know DIY aluminum stuff, but I just don't cast aluminum, so I don't know what to tell you. Um, but you can go look it up online, I'm sure. Uh, someone's got the answer for you. Um, if you like these videos, feel free to subscribe, like, uh, dislike if you don't like, um, leave a comment in the down below and I'll try and answer questions that come up as they come up. Thanks for watching.